Hello everyone and welcome back to Stealth AI. In this episode we're going to co uh, cover one issue that you find quite a lot on the forums over the internet or in entirely talking about how do you get a character that's in a prone position to not collide with stuff. So the current issue you find is when you play a game in prone, change that, go into prone, if I were to clip through this wall here, um, you can see I clip right through it. Now the issue is, is that the character by default will only use the capsule that it comes with as its main collider. It won't use anything else. So whatever you put on it, it won't matter. It'll just override it. So how do you actually fix that without going into the C++ code in the back end? So that's what we're going to do today and show you the solution to solving that problem. So let's go and get started with this. So all this happens on the movement input of our player character and we'll make a new function and in this function we're going to do a uh, we'll do a prone trace here okay and on the prone trace uh, we're going to do a simple input and the input is going to be uh, move forward axis value and the output we're going to have here is the output axis value again both of these are going to be float so the theory behind this is what we're going to do is we're going to make a line trace that goes out in front or behind based on which way we're moving and if that line trace hits we're then going to cancel out the output axis the only reason you're moving forwards is because of the movement axis value that comes through here so if we intercept that and change that to zero it'll stop moving so that's what we're going to do in this function so in this function here, we're going to come out of here and do a line trace by channel. And we're going to do a very simple line trace out based on which way we're moving. So the start location is going to be the actor's location. Pretty simple. The end location, though, again, is based on which way they're moving. Now, this axis value will be positive one if they're going forwards, negative one if they're going backwards. So if we take that out, multiply that by... A distance so I'm gonna say here 120 let's do 125 and then play that into our get actor forward vector and multiply that by that float we now get a distance based on that axis value because if it's 1 it'll be 125 if it's backwards and go minus 1 it could be minus 125 so if we add that onto this location here I'll enter the end, and then you get the end location sorted out. Next, we're going to take out the return value here. So this is if we hit something. So if we hit something, we're going to turn this into a select float node. And a select float node does, uh, it picks A if it's true, or B if it's false. So the return value for this is going to go to the output for the return node. If it's true and we hit something, we want the A to be zero. So it's going to cancel out that input. And then B is going to be whatever this was. So let's get the move forward axis value. There. And that's it. Hit compile. Go to the event graph. And all we have to do is just insert that into here. That goes there. That goes there. So our movement axis is going through the movement forward axis value, getting transformed inside that function, and then getting spat back out into our add movement input. One thing we want to do though is make sure it only does this when we're in prone. So go to the prone trace function, drag is prone out, get. And in here, we're going to do a simple branch and plug is prone into that. If it's true, carry on with the line trace if it's false though i want to break out of here and do a return node and i'm just going to output the forward axis value hit compile okay so that's that and we're done so if i push play now and go into prone i can now collide with a wall. I can't go into it. 
same for going back into it as well there you go and that is how you stop movement when you're in prone if you enjoyed this episode check out the next episode when we talk about how to get npcs and finally get ai into our scene that we can sneak past in our stealth ai series thanks very much for all my patrons for their support and it, i say none of this would be possible without you guys thank you again so much and I really hope you enjoyed this video and saw a really good inspiration for how you can solve a common problem that a lot of people rack their heads around. Uh, I, I quite enjoyed making it. It was quite fun to come up with and it works really, really well. If you are watching this and you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button right now and that way you won't miss any of my future content. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.